Breaking travel news from across the world. Hello, I'm Phil Blizzard with a roundup of some of the key stories from the Arabian travel market in Dubai. The four-day event opened with visitors eager to see the latest offering from Abu Dhabi's Etihad Airways' latest offering, their three-room luxurious suite which will be found on the upper deck of their A380s which start arriving into the fleet later this year. The first aircraft will arrive in December and will go uh, onto the London Heathrow route on the 27th of uh, right, December. Okay. And what will be the I mean, approximate cost to, to book, as you say, for one or two people, the residence? It's uh, 21,000 US dollars one way from Abu Dhabi okay. to London. Nice if you've got that sort of money. Well, the CEO of Qatar Airways told Breaking and Travel News that their first class offering on their soon to arrive A380 double decker will be more traditional. I think I will be quite happy to just remain with first normal first class seats and normal business class seat with, with ultimate comfort for my passenger. And staying with aviation, Gaith Al Gaith, CEO of Fly Dubai, told us about their growth as they soon approach their fifth anniversary. Announced nine routes uh, so so far this year. Uh, the key one for us, of course, we're adding uh, three more routes in India, and uh, we are adding Moscow. We are also adding uh, unique routes. I think uh, in this region we're going to Aden in in Yemen, uh, and that's uh, a route. Although uh, we have a lot of Yemenis, but not well served from this part of the world. And we will be keeping uh, rolling more and more routes like that. Hotels now and groups, both local and international, up their presence at this year's Arabian travel market with impressive stands, most of which were double-decked. And key hoteliers were keen to talk about their business development plans. I think our growth factor, moving a little bit out of our region, is really quite exciting. We're moving into Africa, a fantastic hotel in Dar es Salaam, um, a five-star Rotana, 249 keys in the top spot. I'm very excited about that. I mean, we're in Africa, we're in Egypt, we're in Sudan, but this is starting to move sub-Sahara and uh, there's a lot more to come. So watch this space for Africa. But Tanzania for me is a very, very exciting one. Of course, India, Iran, uh, the UAE as well is growing, especially in Dubai with the 2020. Countries from across the globe provided colour and entertainment and more than 160 countries were represented with several newcomers to this year's event. We have, I mean, unique countries like Ho Chi Minh are here for the first time, Bulgaria, Romania, um, countries from Africa, Zambia. So across the world now, I think people look at this region and the rest of the world is recovering slowly, but this, this, this area has moved off considerably. And now the six years momentum to 2020 and beyond, it's going to be really interesting to see. And staying with countries, the Minister of Tourism for Morocco signed a memorandum of understanding with the President of the World Travel Awards to host the grand finale of the awards in Morocco for the next three years. Well, we're very excited about going to Morocco. As the Minister says, the Marrakesh, the window of Morocco, probably the window of Africa and probably could be the window of the world. Um, the enthusiasm of the, the Minister and, um, and Dr Okobi and Innovate, the people that have helped us so much to help get this event there. Um, it's great that we're coming for three years to provide a foundation to build to help Morocco around the world. Um, there is a saying, um, Rome was not built in a day and Marrakesh um, is a start for us for, for, for Morocco and I hope we can lay a very great foundation for the next three years. And on a lighter note, ATM saw three Dubai hotel personalities losing their hair. And on that hair shaving note, we conclude this roundup of the 2014 Arabian Travel Market. I'm Phil Blizzard in Dubai for Breaking Travel News London.